But don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is me warning you. Do not do that. Hi, Pam. So today I'm going to be sharing with you things you should never do when you come into Rwanda. Okay. So uh, a lot of people have always been asking me, what am I going to bring? What am I not going to do? Yeah, that questions I'm going to be answering them today. Okay. So, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, this is the best time for you to hit that subscribe button. Be part of the family and let's be friends. And do well to like this video as well. Okay. So uh, let's dive right in without wasting your time. So guys, so the first thing you don't want to do is to bring in plastic bags into Rwanda. So on getting to the airport here in Kigali, trust me, if you are coming, let's say your bags are being wrapped, okay, and you come into the country, the first thing you're going to do is to tear up those nylon papers and trash them. You can take in uh, into the country a plastic bag, okay, so even if you're packing something, your food or anything, and those things are visible, you don't bring in those things into the country. There are no plastic bags in the country. It is not allowed. <laughs> so don't bring in plastic bag. Don't think about it. Not bringing plastic bag into the country. Okay, so that's the number one thing. Don't bring in plastic bags. Second thing I want to talk about is littering. Uh, littering is not allowed in Rwanda. Everywhere is clean. And because it's one of the cleanest cities in Africa, okay, you want to respect what they already have. So when you come into a country, the first thing you want to do is to respect their rules and regulations. And littering is one of those things that are no no when you come into Rwanda. When you come in, you're going to be seeing every street clean, everywhere is clean. <laughs> Nobody is dropping anything on the road. Okay, so first thing first, do not litter the place. Okay, uh, that must that might make you get into trouble. So don't litter the place. There are also uh, dustbin points. Okay, places you can. Dump Dump your 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 stuff, okay, on the road. That places you can trash some things. You can maybe you took you took water, maybe a bottle of water or something. So after drinking, you're looking for where to trash it. There are actually places, muster points on the streets of Kigali that you can actually trash them in. They are usually everywhere on the street of Kigali. You can find them anywhere. Okay, just look out for that. But if you can't. Please, if you can't find any, it is very important that you put in your bag until you get to your house. So do not litter the streets. Okay. The third one that you want to uh, also do is the fact that you don't you don't smoke on the streets of Kigali. So when you come into Rwanda, you don't smoke on the streets. Nobody is allowed to smoke on the road. It's one of those things that you want to also very much avoid, okay? You might smoke at your place, like smoke your thing in your house or anywhere, maybe places that is allowed. But you see smoking smoking in, in and on the road, you're walking on the street and you're smoking is not allowed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. This is me warning you. Do not do that. Uh, the next thing I also want to talk about is walking on the flowers okay. there are always places for pedestrians okay do not walk do not walk on the flowers hold your ear hold your ear do not walk on the flowers don't try it okay so Rana is already maintaining this culture of cleanliness and everywhere being green like green rwanda right you do not want to also come and damage what has already been built so if you're coming to the country you want to respect that do not walk on the flowers okay do not walk on the flowers always use the pedestrian walkway it's always there for you to walk on okay uh that's it <laughs> okay so another point i want to talk about is the speed limit so that some people that you know because of where you're coming from you guys are already used to a particular speed limit so but here in rwanda there are speed limits everywhere so in kigali they have a particular speed limit i think it's 50 or 60 okay i can't remember guys i can't remember so then outside of kigali they also have a particular speed limit that you want to also follow okay so don't come here and start driving 120 you might get yourself into trouble and another thing i want to add there is that always obey the traffic light okay there is always traffic light everywhere at every point always obey the traffic light do not try to you know try to navigate or yeah, exactly always maintain and obey the traffic light if it's red stop if it's yellow set if it's green then move <laughs> always obey the traffic light okay another thing i want to also want to talk about is the fact that here in rwanda when people are crossing the road you have to wait for them 
Yes, yeah, sometimes some motorists say it's annoying <laughs> because some people are making calls and they're crossing the road. Leave them. That's the that's the rules. You don't actually uh try to, you don't you don't try crossing the road when you see people passing on the street. Okay, so you have to wait for them to pass. Then especially when they're using the this thing, just let them cross. Okay, so once they're done, you cannot go your way. Okay, you wait for them. There's this thing about not running when you're crossing, but people are always advised that when you're crossing the road cross appropriately like work as someone who is going somewhere and people are waiting for you right but sometimes it's not always like that so some people that can actually get you here like that that they're getting to your nerves but try as much as much possible to you know maintain the rules and regulation by waiting for them to cross over them before you can move okay so finally there is this thing i actually want to talk about that people always get angry or so furious about and that's the fact that you are actually expecting too much you're expecting to everybody to speak english here people don't always speak english people not everyone speak english here in rwanda so don't expect it from everybody don't expect people to always speak english there are some people that speak very little english some people that already well traveled speak good english then this other set of people that don't even hear english at all the only thing they hear might be come or go so you want to also maintain that or get used to that so one of the things that also help me whenever i'm going to the market is maybe using my phone to press the number of what i want what i'm pricing it could be like a bike i'm stopping a bike man and i'm telling him okay one thousand and i'm typing it on my phone for him to see what one thousand is because i already know the figures and another thing is also to learn little about the language especially in terms of figures so one thousand is jirumbi <laughs> Yeah, then 1,500 is chatan. So you want to also learn all of those small, small things that can help you pass, you know, the test and, you know, for you not to have issues with anybody. Okay, so learn those little languages. It really helps you a lot. Yeah, it will help you a lot. I hope this was helpful. And uh, for everyone who is planning to travel to Rwanda or who is trying to migrate to Rwanda, these are the steps or some of the things that you might want to know. I, I hope these are actually some of the things that also help people in other countries. It might not just be in Rwanda, but just maintain rules and regulation wherever you are in a place where it is not yours. I hope this was helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And do well to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up and let's be friends. Thank you and God bless you. Bye, guys.